following on from the how to install SketchUp tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up Layout. Layout's already installed um, in the same installation process as SketchUp. So if you go and run through that, you'll get Layout installed. So now double click on Layout 2020 and that will launch the software. Okay, so we'll, we'll start open with um, start up with a welcome to layout page. Um, from here, we can open existing files, and we can also set templates that you might want to use. Um, if, for example, you already have a template um, that you want to use and save into layout, I'll show you how you can do that. So we'll just minimize that. Um, we'll open up layout 2019. So just remember, once you've licensed SketchUp with the classic license, the existing SketchUp and Layout will expire after 60 days. If you're on subscription, um, you've got no problems. You just sign in and you'll have access to Layout. I'll just close Layout 2020. Okay, there we go. It's now decided to open. So as you can see, um, we've opened up layout and I've, I've got an existing template that I like to use over and over again. So if you want to use this template for SketchUp 2020, you can go file, save as, and save that to your desktop or maybe your documents up to you. And we'll call it layout template. Okay, so that's done. That's all you need from layout at this point. So I'm just going to minimize it. So, sorry, that's all we need from layout not 2019. I'm going to double click on layout 2020 since I ended up closing it. I'll try that again. Might not like having the existing layout already open, so we'll close that. So we'll right click on Layout 2020 and open. Okay, yeah, it must, mustn't like the two versions open at the same time. So we've got the welcome screen here now and we can click on Open File, go to the desktop and open the layout template that we saved from our older version. It just warns you that it was created with an old version, but that's perfectly fine. Click OK and now you have the layout template here. If you now want to save that as your own template, you can easily just go to File, Save as Template, put it into the My Templates folder, PCS, and I'm going to hit OK. So you can call yours PCS, or well, sorry, whatever you want, call it Template, and then I can close that. So now if I go File New, it will bring open the welcome screen. You can see My Templates now appears. I can put a heart inside of my favorite template. Click on that and it's now ready to go. Now we'll just look at um, some of the settings that we can change um, within here. So what, what's especially quite nice with the template is that it remembers all your styles. So you know if you had some dimension styles here, if I was to click on the dimension tool, it's already remembered the things that I want. So it's remembered that I like slashes for my dimension styles um, and things like that. So that's the benefit of taking a template that you already have. Um, if you want to learn more on how to set up layout um, all these settings, you can watch the existing 2019 video tutorial. So now I want to just make sure that the toolbars are still on. So if I go view, toolbars, customize, I can go to commands. And then I can go and just drag the new, start a new drawing onto my screen. I like to put on the open, um, save is a good one, insert. Um, I want exports. So if I want to find um, like a tool or an option um, that starts with E, I can just tap E on my keyboard multiple times and it just keeps going through the E options 
export that's what I'm wanting okay so the next one is um, D for duplicate so just keep tapping D until I find the duplicate with a little piece of paper next to it um, I want delete which is also just below it um, I want O for object snap click on that next is G for grid snap so keep tapping G until you find grid snap um, S for show grids show grid okay so those are the main settings that I like to use okay so once we've done that you can close your toolbars down and there you have it you've now set up layout um, you've got the toolbars there you've got your existing template um, and then you're now ready to use layout 2020So I'm going to show you how you can copy across your assets from Layout 2019 to Layout 2020. So you may have created some scrapbooks um, that you would like to bring across to the latest version. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So if you go to uh, Windows Explorer, then you go to C Drive, Users, and then go to User, Roaming, oh, going the wrong way. Users, administrator for me, it would most likely be your name. Application data, roaming, and we're going to go to SketchUp. And you can see now that we have installed 2020, we've got uh, two or more folders. So we've got the 2019 folder that we need to copy from, and we now have our 2020 folder. So if we go into here, you can see we've got a layout folder and then we've got templates and scrapbooks. So you could technically copy your templates from here and grab the scrapbooks from here. So you just right click on your scrapbooks and go copy and you go back until you find SketchUp. Go to SketchUp 2020, layout, right click and paste and you will now overwrite your templates that are in um, that are in SketchUp 2020. So you add all the new ones that you've got. And if you did that with templates as well, you would have got the same settings there as well. So that's how you can take across any of your old settings from Layout 2019 into Layout 2020.